Hi, I'm Sam, I'm the Assistant Manager here at uh, JNS Accessories in Leicester. Uh, today I'm going to have a little talk to you about uh, a couple little products which will help you look after your helmet. Uh, the care pack which the store manager Gary and myself have put together here at Leicester is uh, a nice simple one which is suitable for all gloss helmets. Uh, for matte finished helmets you'd essentially just lose one item which is the helmet polish. So we've got a couple little items which is uh, shift it helmet polish, knit wax visor proof, shift it helmet and visor cleaner and shift it polishing cloths. Um, if you're anything like myself I'm a little bit OCD and I, I do generally like to look after my helmets especially when you when you spend a lot of money on these and it's obviously the, the key piece of equipment that looks after us. So I'm going to run you through uh, a nice quick demonstration on how to actually uh, use the care pack and uh, how easy it really is to do. So to start off with obviously you just for me, I prefer to take the visor off just because it makes it easier to work on the helmet. And we're going to do the visor last. So, well, nearly last. So we'll put the visor to one side. Main reason being is that with the visor off, it allows you to be able to put your hand inside the helmet so that you can turn the helmet and you're not going to drop it. That means you've always got a good hold of it. Because the last thing you want to do is, of course, drop a helmet. Uh, you can see I've got a couple of cloths. I've got a microfiber cloth, clean one for your helmet and visor cleaner and buffing at the end. And I've got a glass microfiber cloth. The main reason being that the glass microfiber cloth is a little bit uh, less absorbent, uh, which we'll be using for the visor proof. Um, allows it to spread on the visor without obviously being absorbed into the microfiber cloth. So essentially, the first things first, before you even put on any of the, uh, the products of this one, use your dedicated helmet and visor cleaner. Um, here at Leicester, we actually like the shift it stuff. Uh, uh, same stuff we use to service all the helmets in store. So uh, they look nice because the last thing you want to do is come and see loads of dust everywhere. So uh, we're uh, we're sticklers for cleanliness here. So uh, essentially, what you want to do is uh, get your helmet. I prefer to do it this way, and then obviously just give it a nice douse the wrong way, and then use your microfiber cloth to get any dirt and grime off the helmet. So the key thing like getting any bugs off because the last thing you want to do is obviously polishing any bugs get rid of any fingerprints, any, any grime. And what I like about the, ship, the helmet polish is that uh, very similar to like uh, turtle wax or anything like that for your car, this puts a protective barrier on your helmet. So it puts a nice high gloss finish on the helmet. So if you were to look at the paint surface, even with the, uh, the detailing, obviously I've got a Shelby Quest, which I'm using today. Um, you look at uh, the, the helmet under a microscope and there'll be slight imperfections, but heavily magnified, probably look like the Himalayas. So uh, the helmet polish fills in all those imperfections, puts that really high gloss finish on there. It's perfect for um, quite bright colored helmets, AGVs especially, because they're quite bright and quite susceptible to fading under UV. So it's actually got a UV blocker in there, which will help um, protect the paintwork on the helmet to stop it prematurely fading. Uh, with the, uh, the polishing cloth pack, you get two cloths in there. Uh, me personally, I use one for applying the polish and one for buffing off, and it's a, a really simple thing to do. It's only a small bottle, but a little bit goes a long way. Um, I've got a couple of helmets myself, and uh, I've uh, been using this stuff, and I've still not run out of a bottle yet after about seven months. You don't have to apply it very often, but as you can see, I like to get a little bit over the cloth over my finger, and put the helmet polish. Just a little dob. Put your hand through the visor again as we, as we saw, through the aperture, and essentially just dab it over the helmet to get maximum coverage. And start from wherever you want to, but I like to start at the front and in little circles, just meticulously go over the whole helmet. Don't be too concerned if you do get it over some like the, the rubbers or the seals on the, uh, on the or base plates, because you can buff that off at the end. It's not going to damage your helmet. Always apply the polish in little circles, same as you do with any kind of polish, and make sure you've got nice even coverage. Helmets which are white uh, can be a little bit more awkward, so you have to just use the light to actually just see, see the bits that you've missed. It's For me, I find it quite therapeutic. I usually sit at home whilst I'm in front of the TV, and uh, it takes me about five or 10 minutes just to clean the helmet down 
and just go over and put a nice thick coating of helmet polish. A lot of people don't really like to spend too much time doing it, so doing spending the time to put this on from new means that it'll make it a lot easier in the long run when it comes to cleaning your helmet. And as you can see, the way I'm holding the helmet allows me to turn the helmet and see all the bits which I'm missing and get full coverage on that, that little bit on top as well. So as I say, just go over the whole helmet You can put it on quite thickly, you don't have to uh, be uh, put it on really thin. If it, in actual fact, if it's a little bit it goes on a little bit thicker, you'll actually benefit the helmet a bit more. Because again, you've got a thicker coat of polish on there. So that's the whole helmet covered and as you can see it's starting to haze so you just want to leave it for a, a couple minutes so we'll come back to that one so uh, that's your polishing cloth done with so you don't need your polishing now that, that's all done so we'll put that to one side we'll go back to the visor now so this is where your uh, your helmet and visor cleaner and your cleaning uh, microfiber cloth comes in again uh, as you can see I've got some visor stickers on mine so Obviously, you can do what you want with uh, the visors. Make it uh, make it your own, essentially. So again, before you use the visor proof, a couple of squirts of helmet and visor cleaner. Give the visor a good clean to get any any dirt, bugs, grimes on. The one thing I like about visor proof is that uh, it, if you've got very light scratches in the visor, it can. I'm not saying it will, but it can also. Um, get the scratches out or at least mask them there's nothing worse that if you're looking through the visor and you've got a big mark down the center of course it's a little bit off-putting and a lot of people end up wanting to change their visors so once your visor is nice and clean and dry again we don't need that for now got your visor proof so again give it a good shake And with your glass microfiber cloth, what we're going to do is we're going to use one side which is, is dry. We're going to spread the visor proof over the visor and then flip it over to a dry side to buff into the visor. Again, taking the visor off the helmet makes it a little bit easier to get coverage. For me, I like to hold the visor fairly central, about a couple inches away, give it a nice even coating. Of visor proof. It's the first time you've used it, you, it might be beneficial just to put two or three coats on there just because it all is, there's no harm in that one, just make it a little bit easier to get a nice thick coating on there and because I've already got quite a thick coating of visor proof on here it already starts to bead so in rain it helps shed water from your visor but also it will help you to clean the visor a lot easier as well and all you do is keep flipping over to a dry side and buff it in until it's all gone. Always buff in straight lines. You don't want to do it in circles. And that is the visor done. Coming back to the helmet now. As you saw, very little use, so it lasts you quite a while. They say 30 applications. I'm a little bit stingy. I get a little bit more out of it than that. I think so far I'm up to probably about 52. Um, coming back to your helmet, grab your other polishing cloth, which uh, as you buff this off, it will also take off any ingrained dirt in the paperwork. So again, put your hand through the aperture and in straight lines, just start to buff it off the helmet. And you'll straight away start to see a nice shine that comes onto it. Yeah. 
I'm a bit of a magpie, I do enjoy making things very shiny. So go over the whole helmet, just getting all that polish off, which is now hazed into it. And the only thing I do afterwards is I just use a microfiber cloth just to uh, release a bit more of that shine. If you find that it's catching too much and you want to go to the other side, again, just flip to a cleaner side of the cloth and carry on buffing in straight lines. Once you have done the helmet, be very careful because it does make the helmet very slippery. So always make sure you've got a good hold of the helmet. Uh, if you're putting it into a helmet bag, make sure that it's done up before you uh, decide to hold it via the straps because it will slip out the bag. I have had a few customers that uh, have almost dropped their helmets uh, once they've polished their helmet. Myself included. So again, you're just getting all the little imperfections out of there. Come back to your other microfiber cloth, just to give it a once over, just to finish off the helmet. All the way round. Makes the helmet look better than shelf new, which is what I like about it. So even when the helmet's a couple of years old, it still looks brand new. Then once you're done, just reattach your visor. And you're done. Nice simple products, shift it helmet polish, Nick Wax visor proof, shift it helmet and visor cleaner and shift it polishing cloths. Uh, available at JNS and Leicester and all JNS stores can get it as well. Nick Wax visor proof readily available in all stores. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.